Hey everybody, so I made a video, 30 tips on Christian YouTube um, videos and ideas and whatnot. And so I've been kind of working my way through my own 30 tips that I had given. Um, and so today's video is going to be the prayer that God answered in the most amazing and unexpected way. I have written down notes here because I want to keep things concise. I am a I'm a writer, like I write my things down and then I'll, I'll read it because if I just go on to a video, I will ramble. I will, I am not eloquent and I will talk about so many random things and I just won't get to the point as I've been doing for the last probably three minutes already. So I'm going to read what I wrote. So I hope you guys um, enjoy this video and stay tuned to hear what I have to um, tell you about God's awesomeness. When I wasn't living my life for God and was very lukewarm in my faith, I was in a relationship with my now husband. Once I started to come back into my faith, born again, right? I began to start being convicted of being unmarried with four children. I recently learned about fasting, which is something I had never been taught in my life. When I learned about fasting, it was so weird. Um, I, we, we weren't taught that growing up in church. It honestly, it was just, it sounded weird. I thought thought it was something that only like uh, Muslim people did. Um, so honestly, I did not, I did not know that we were called to fast in scripture. I didn't know the power behind it, nothing. I was a babe in my faith at this time. And I feel that during this period of time, I grew very strongly in my faith. Um, it drew me very close to God in a relationship with God and in, in a relationship with Christ. And so, um, I had recently learned about fasting, which is something I had never been taught in my life. I began fasting and praying that my husband Cody would propose to me and that we would be married. Cody at the time had no intentions of marrying me. I think a big part of him was really scared of the commitment. Though we had been together for eight years, um, I think he just had that, you know, that fear um, another huge reason, the main reason why we never got married was the cost. He didn't feel that we could afford to get married. He did not feel we could afford to get married. Anytime we would talk about it, it got stressful. It got heated. It was never a good discussion. It was never a good outcome. Um, it, it really, to me, in my heart, I felt despair because I felt like he would never marry me. Um, that that was just not something that was feasible. We would not have the money for it, right? So I truly felt that I was living in sin and that I was stuck. I was really sad, like I love my husband so much. And we had been living as a married couple against God's ways for eight years, four children, okay? So anyways, I fasted and I prayed. And within a week, he agreed to marry me. When we had, a, I started fasting and praying and then I, brought the conversation up to him again and within a week he decided okay let's do this let's figure this out right so I just I knew that we were not out of the woods yet I knew that it probably still wasn't going to happen um so I just kept fasting and kept praying within two weeks or so we had a venue for free a group of friends in the faith provided the space on a beautiful acreage and the catering was free. They did all the catering. Everyone chipped in. Soon enough, his mother gave him a ring to propose to me. That was not expected either. We had that was not expected. So venue, not expected, free. Catering, not expected, free. Um, everyone chipped in. His mother gave him a ring to propose to me and he proposed to me. Um, it's a beautiful ring beautiful beautiful ring um i love it so much it's so me we um so pretty much all we needed at this point were the dresses and the suits the dresses for the bridesmaids and the suits for the groomsmen and cody's suit i had made all the decorations with my bridesmaids handmade because i am a artist so we made all the decorations they were beautiful they were handmade cody bought suits and dresses for himself and the groomsmen and the bridesmaids he bought the flowers um a friend of mine made me a beautiful cake and gave me a very lovely deal on it 
steal of a deal. Um, and my sister, she always told me that if I got married, she would buy my dress and she held to that promise and she actually bought me my dress. Um, I couldn't have been more thankful for all the people who came together in this time. Within three months, we had a $10,000 wedding paid for in full by God himself. We paid $2,500 in total, including our honeymoon. That's all we paid, but it would have costed $10,000. God provided this wedding for us. It was the most amazing test. It was one thing after another, one amazing thing after another. I just couldn't believe it. And um, even the, like the cool, like the, a really cool thing too is like I, I went to go try on my dress and you know, I, it, I didn't, I loved the dress, but I just didn't feel very good. And I was fasting and like I was praying and all this stuff for this wedding. And when I went to go try on my dress again, um, cause they, they make you try it on, keep trying it on towards the wedding just to make sure everything fits properly. And I had actually dropped 17 pounds. So they had to hem the dress. So I felt beautiful on my wedding too. I felt so good. Um, and I mean, that's just silly stuff, but it was, you know, it was just such an amazing testimony that I fasted and I prayed and God made my prayers come true. He answered those prayers and me and my husband have been happily married for three years um, since then. Our wedding was absolutely beautiful. Um, and it was such a beautiful day and testimony of God's faithfulness and his power of his love and his forgiveness. And I just wanted to share that um, it took a lot of repentance, repenting for being unmarried, repenting for having children um, and not being married um repenting for my sins in that area and it took a lot of fasting it took a lot of prayer and and i had so many people standing in the gap for me praying along with me um supporting me along the way but it was just a beautiful to see how god used his people to bless me and bless my husband and bless my family he um came through completely whether it be through his mighty power or through those around us that um, are his, right? Called according to his purpose. And it is his will. He says, um, pray and ask anything within my will. And it, it is his will for you to be married. So I just wanna share that with you, that it is 100% within God's power to answer your prayer. Um, 100% don't have a doubt in your mind guys not a doubt in your mind he will come through he will provide he keeps all of his promises and it is never god's will for a family to be divided it is never god's will that a marriage sh should fail it is never god's will that i should have been living in the situation i had put myself in and because i repented turned from my sins and prayed and fasted god worked a miracle and me and my husband are married. We were married within three months, guys. Planned a beautiful wedding within three months. Um, and it was it was a beautiful day. So I just wanted to share Mark 11, um, 24. I'm gonna read to you guys. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain be removed, and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he says will be done he will have whatever he says therefore i say to you whatever things you ask when you pray believe that you have received them and you will have them and i understand that we live in this day and age where we feel like god's power and his miracles and his wonders and all those things that we believe that sorry that we read in his word don't happen anymore that we're not living through those times but we are the problem is is that we've lost our faith we've lost our faith like our childlike faith in the mercies in the miracles that god can do in our life our childlike faith children are so gullible they will believe anything you tell them okay and god asks us to believe for a miracle to believe in everything we ask of him that we will receive it. 
He doesn't ask us to have a little bit of faith. He doesn't ask us. He asks us to have full on faith in his power, in his majesty, in his might. Okay. And so I just want to pray that on you guys right now that you would that you would remember that and that you would um whatever it is that you're right now you are praying about um is, if it is in god's will understand what god's will is god's will is in this bible if it is in god's will you will receive it and and like i said there are many people who are living um in the same house as their partner they are not married and they have children that is a huge thing that th that in this day and age we are um, experiencing whether you are fiancés whatever um, that's something that we are going through we are seeing a lot in our world and um, I promise you that if you have childlike faith in what God can do he will move mountains for you you will be married he can change your your husband's heart he can change your heart um, and that is the most awesome prayer that God ever answered in such an unexpected and amazing way and I will never forget like you know it was it was amazing and one day when my husband is saved he's gonna look back and he's gonna look back at those times and he's gonna be like the blessing the, the blessings after blessings after blessings after blessings that God has placed in our life and he's gonna be amazed and that's gonna be part of his testimony too um, but I just really wanted to share that with you and um, I just pray that whatever it is that you're facing in your life that you remember to have faith in God that he will come through that he keeps all of his promises he's a good good father and he desires what is best for you so don't ever question what he can do because he can do it all and don't allow this world to to downgrade your faith to diminish your faith because your faith is so important god can move mountains with your faith um anyway thanks for watching this video guys hope you have an awesome week